Well, this is a <laughs> slightly different video to what I normally do, um, and a first for me. Um, but I thought some of you might be interested. Um, my channel has just over 200 subscribers, which I'm very pleased about. But as you're probably all aware, in YouTube terms, that's just about zero. So I was rather surprised when a Chinese company that sells electronic products on Amazon reached out to me to do a product review. And I said, OK, what's the deal? Uh, well, it turns out that I don't get paid to do the review or anything, but um, I do get the product for free. Um, and I just wanted to say up front that I won't be filling my channel with product reviews. That's not what I'm interested in. Uh, also, if this thing turns out to be crap, then I will say it's crap and consequently probably won't be doing any more reviews anyway. Um, if, however, I think the product is okay, I will put a link to it in the description below. But I don't get any kit back if you click on that link. Um, so what is it? Well, um, the company's called Maozoa. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's M-A-O-Z-U-A. And no, I'd never heard of them either. A uh, quick search on Google. Uh, I discovered that the product line includes a USB microscope, a car code reader, a soil moisture tester, and a water quality tester. And... A digital voice recorder and it's the digital voice recorder this little matey here um, which they wanted me to review I'll stick the Amazon page up uh, in a brief still clip in a minute so you can see exactly you know what 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 how Amazon describe it right so let's get it unboxed then okay so this is the product that they actually sent me <coughs> it's the Maozua I assume that's how you pronounce the company's name. Uh, digital voice recorder. Uh, current price on Amazon, £24.89p. And, um, and um, well, that's what it is. So I think what we'll need to do is unbox it first and, um, and have a look at it. Well... What impresses me right off the bat is this is a pretty sturdy cardboard box. I mean, this is Amazon. This is Amazon. This is Apple quality cardboard. You know, this is not flimsy or anything like that. So, let's have a look and see what's inside. Okay, well, we've got a uh, <coughs> free six-month extended warranty. <coughs> Visit Malzoa.net for that. Then we've got a uh, little manual by the looks of things. Um, in microscopic writing, so I'm going to have to get my magnifier out so that I can read that. And then we have the device itself, which, um, well, as you can see, it, it looks like a very large USB stick, uh, which I believe is exactly what it is. Um, it, it, uh, there we go. Yes. See, it is it actually ha is it has a USB plug on one end. Now, I, I don't know anything at all about this at the moment, <coughs> other than the fact that it's a digital voice recorder. It's um, it's apparently it's voice activated, um, and it can also uh, double as an MP3 player. Um, but I obviously <laughs> I need to read the instructions, uh, and obviously I'm I'm not a um, uh, RTFM man myself, but in this case, uh, obviously, I will do that. Uh, there's a clear protector cover over the back here, a little screen, play button. Um, so, well, that's about it for the unboxing. I don't think there's anything else else in here. So, we'll have a look. Foam insert. Oh, look at that! They give you a, they did give you a set of earphones. Look at that, superb. Right, well, <coughs> let me uh, read the instruction manual and um, we can get this thing fired up and see what it can do. Right, well, <coughs> I've had a read through the manual and I thought, uh, well, we'll have a quick run through the specs. Um, you can get this in uh, four different memory capacities, four gig, eight gig, 16 gig, and 32 gig. And uh, this particular one that they sent me is the eight gig one. It has a uh, 280 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Um, it says that the LCD display is 96 by 64. I can only assume that's pixels because it's really, really tiny. Um, 
it's a USB 2 port um, and the built-in speaker it actually has a built-in speaker which is 18 millimeters in diameter 8 ohm uh, it has a 3.5mm stereo headphone jack um, and obviously you can also output to through the same jack to external speakers um, so um, I'll just run through the uh, controls while we've got it here so on this side basically you've got um, uh, this this is this is the on off switch and then you've got your volume up and down and then on the front you've got the pause play switch and then on this side you've got um, this is a manual record on and off and then basically this is track ad, um, advance uh, previous or next and then a mode button uh, here so um right let's um let's let's turn it on and you can uh, have a look at the display hopefully that will actually come out right let's uh, now let's turn this thing on yeah your hourglass symbol then for some unknown reason it says please and then you get this is the record menu um i think basically what you've got is um uh, track times uh, there's a battery indicator in the top right hand corner which is fairly obvious um, and then whatever file uh, has been selected uh, if I press the mode switch um, we'll bring the, the backlight goes off after a few seconds we'll press the mode switch it will take us into the mp3 menu which is that one now there are some mp3 tracks that come with it there's a bird tweeting um, and a couple of others but you can also download your own mp3 tracks onto it which I've done and um, you can cycle through those tracks using the, um, the, 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 the buttons on the side, basically. So if we'll find, I've got some royalty free music, which I downloaded from the YouTube audio library on here, uh, which is that one. So we'll play that back through the external speaker and you can listen to it through my mic. And I have to say that for an 18mm speaker that doesn't sound half bad at all. And obviously it's coming out of this little tiny speaker and it's coming into my mics on my camera. So, But it's not bad at all. Right, so that's that's basically the, the MP3 function. Um, and I think the, down the bottom here you have total time of the track and the amount that's played. Um, so um, there's an awful lot of dis in information on this little tiny display. Um, and what I'll do is I'll put a link to the, um, the PDF copy of the manual for this thing in the description so that you can go and have a look at it because um, there's a lot of stuff that it tells you and, and I you know I'm really got time to go into all of it um, but I thought we'd do a basic just mp3 test there and I'll, I'll play it back through some speakers too external speakers so you can get to hear what it sounds like through that the next thing we'll do is recording you can either do it manually by using the record switch on the side or you can select uh, through the menu voice activated recording so we'll give that a go okay this is the uh device plugged into my little creative travel sound battery operated speakers and they actually are sound do sound quite good when you've when you've got them connected to an mp3 player so let's try that then That sounds pretty good to me. Not bad at all. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to try a uh, manual recording first. And I think basically all you do is um, turn it over. There's the record switch. So we basically just slide it up into the record mode. So, the, um, 
you have to get the when the when the backlight goes off you have to press a button to get the backlight to come back on before it will do anything so um that's something to remember so we'll turn it on to record initializing and yeah the counter is running here now so yeah hopefully that's recording i'm 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 leaning over the camera so i'm probably about i don't know eight inches away from the mics on the on the actual uh recorder and of course you can also see these little red leds come on up here so um yeah and the and the um level meters are actually moving up and down as well a bit of a lag on those but they are moving so that looks like it's actually working so we'll stop the recording which is i'm going to remember which way around you move the switch uh yeah to stop the recording that's down so there you go saving excellent so we should be able to hear that now if i play back So yeah, hopefully that's recording. I'm 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 leaning over the camera, so I'm probably about I don't know eight inches away from the mics on the on the actual uh, recorder. And of course, you can also see these little red LEDs come on up here. So um, yeah, and the and the um, level meters are actually moving up and down as well. A bit of a lag on those, but they are moving. So that looks like it's actually working. So we'll stop the recording, which is I'm going to remember which way around you move the switch. Uh, yeah, to stop the recording, that's down. Right, well, I'm assuming that... The yeah, so there you go, that seems to work fine. Um, uh, very straightforward, on, off. Uh, I think I, you can pause it using the uh, play, pause button as well. But uh, certainly sounded fine to me. So that's the manner of recording. That, that, that seems to work perfectly. Okay, <clears throat> I've now turned on the voice-activated recording. Now, what we need to do is we need to turn it into record you still have to turn it into record and then the it should <coughs> go into record um once the sound level goes above a certain level and then stop when it drops below a certain level So it's not running now. I'm now going to talk and see whether it actually starts recording. And there you can see the level bars go up and it is actually still recording. And you can see the count here uh, counting up as I continue to talk. Now I'm going to stop talking and hopefully it should then stop. So it stopped on 17 and now it's started again because I've started to talk. So we'll keep going and then I'll stop again. Right, now I've put it into the save mode. And as you can see from that, yes, it does start and stop when you... Um, uh, stop talking so we'll see if we can play that back it's not running now i'm now going to talk and see whether it actually starts recording and there you can see the level bars go up and it is actually still recording and you can see the count here uh, counting up as i continue to talk now i'm going to stop talking and hopefully it should then stop but stopped on 17 and now it's started again because i've started to talk so we'll keep going and then i'll stop again So yeah, you you right, well, I'm assuming that those you can you can see that 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 that, se that seemed to work fine. Um, so the voice activated recording does work quite well. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple of uh, other things with it which I thought I'd mention. Uh, the um, the recording type you can set the bit rate and it'll do 64k, 128k, 192k, which is what it's set to as standard, and 384k. Um, uh, there's a screensaver time menu, so you can basically, uh, I think, um, change for different uh, uh, amounts of time uh, before the screensaver uh, kicks in. You can also set the uh, date and time, and um, there was something else. What else was there? Uh, yeah, you can put a password in. You can also do timed recordings. So it's pretty well full-featured bit of kit, this. Um, <clears throat> and um, I, I have to say that um, I, I think that um, it pretty much uh, does what it says uh, on the tin. It's it's uh, it's a it's a pretty damn good bit of kit. It it it, it certainly sounds okay. Um, 
the screen is obviously very small and you know you, you've a little bit difficult to read but then there's, there's no room on it to put anything else so you know you're stuck with that but um <clears throat> it's quite a weighty bit of kit you know it's not it's not light it feels well made um i believe it's got a metal chassis so that's pretty good so um yeah, I, I think, all in all, for what it is, I think it does the job very, very well indeed. Okay, so there you go. <clears throat> the Malzua Digital Voice Recorder. Voice activated, voice recorder and MP, MP3 player. So uh, just a quick little review video and uh, say, uh, hope you like the video and thanks very much for watching.